You're watching On the Ice, a five-day winter survival camping adventure in Vermont. The special guest, AP Bassing and the Wooded Beardsman. Look at that slab. Holy cow. Fish on. And I'm your host, Zachary Fowler. We're on the ice. So beautiful. I love Vermont. I'm ready to go. You ready? <laughs> he's, like, <laughs> he, he's like, you guys can build the shelters, <laughs> and uh, I'm on the fish. Actually, everybody said that so far. Peric said that. I'm the only one that really wants to get to building. You go by AP? AP, or, AP Bassett. Or, or Peric? Peric, yeah, most people call me Peric. So your, your expertise is what? It's mostly fishing, and ice fishing too, I love it. I've been ice fishing since I was like 12 years old, so I'm gonna try and see if we can catch some fish out here that's kind of why i'm here and then you're going to show me the survival side and the woodsman side and that sort of deal awesome so he's the he's the fishing ringer yeah <laughs> yeah you're the ringer zach's the the building ringer yep and i'm just along for the ride <laughs> i'm the woodsman so i'm gonna be all around guy all around. i can fish a little bit and i can build a little bit i'm not super good at anything like ask my fans they know <laughs> <laughs> this is what we found to, to use it's just like a, a ice rocky icy cove thing going on here so it's hard to show it proportionately but it goes in it comes out about eight feet on each side with a little bit of rock and we're thinking thinking we build some stuff and then we're camping and sleeping in there kind of thing rock will reflect the heat Ooh. we'll be nice and cozy in here and then we'll be able to look right out there and see our tip ups and our lines, fish, cook, eat, and just have fun. I just wanted to cook stuff that wasn't just fish and wadobo. So I brought ingredients to go with each meal so I can make a fish chowder at some point, so I can make a you know, trout wrapped in bacon uh, with wadobo. <laughs> so we're still we, didn't, we didn't leave that behind. So we got all kinds of fun stuff planned for this. I'm really excited, so I'm gonna get on the building, I think. Oh no, uh, you got. Oh. <laughs> I was gonna say, you win. If we get too angry, we got weapons they can't trace right now. <laughs> Somebody wakes up with an icicle in the eye. I feel hungry or thirsty. Safety? You filming? I'm filming you picking your nose, <laughs> apparently. Like, so much snot. I know it's what's weird because it's so warm out. It's like it's not freezing like it should up up in the nostrils. <laughs> <laughs> it's it just dripping out. <laughs> what do you think we're dealing with the dust? No idea. First hole, first fish. We'll see. We're gonna go get materials, Wood Beardsman and I, so we got stuff to build with. All right, wood's all here. Chris is shoveling out a spot for us. And Eric's trying to get us a fish. 
Our ringer is failing us so far, but that's all right. <laughs> Brand new place. Takes a little bit to figure it out. It's still, because I was busy, I thought I'd lose my chance at first fish. But there's still an opportunity to get first fish because it hasn't happened yet, so... I think I'm gonna have to set one or two out before I get to building all this. I got two lines in. Time to get back to shelter building. I haven't marked a single fish so far, so that's concerning, but we have had one tip up go off, so there are fish in here. Oh, he's back, he's back, he's coming back, he's coming back, he's coming back. It's a late trout, 100% late trout. Oh, he dipped down, he dipped down. Oh my goodness. He bit me, I didn't set the hook hard enough. Drags too loose or something. All right, these guys have been busy. They got the fire pit already built out of a log piece. That's neat. So I came up with a plan. I think it's gonna be pretty cool. I'm gonna put a post in here. Our shelter a lean-to out this way and another part of it lean-to out this way door here and between this post and that tree up there I'll be able to string my hammock the other guys can bring in cots in if they want to or sleep on boughs on the ground and I hate sleeping on the ground like a peasant bloody peasant oh what a giveaway did you hear that did you hear that eh? that's what I'm on about do you see him repressing me so if we had more resources we could do something different but uh, this was my initial design before the adventure I'd drawn up on my phone and sent to the guys to try to sell them on the idea. Unfortunately, due to a lack of resources, mainly there's no spruce boughs or something so we could build a good solid covering to protect us from the elements. We're going to have to go with a different method. I think this is actually going to be pretty sweet. I've never built like a half ice cave shelter thing living on the ice. Now we just need the fish. This is so cool. So you're going to go for a run? You're going to try flat over there. I'm going to try flat. We need something. We haven't seen much action here. I mean, we have no. one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight lines in the water. You'd think something would go off. Ha <laughs> ha.
Fish on? Yep, he's there. It's a good one, I think. Oh, Largy! Oh, bass. Oh, Largy! <laughs> there you go. So you got a crappie and a bass now? Yeah. Right on? Is that a rock bass? Rock bass. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here it is. That's our dinner. We got uh, one bass, thanks to Chris. One nice size crappie. Thanks to Perrick. And a rock bass. Chris again. Cook on that. Perfect. Look at this. Dude, look at that. Yeah. As soon as we can, let's get this to uh, bring it to a quick boil, okay. so we can rinse it out because it's never been used. Yeah, and then that way we can then we can get the stew going. We'll have to let it go for. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Half hour. Oh, oh, actually, you could hang it uh, if we had the right kind of. Uh... Uh oh. Oops. Oh. Yes. All right, my pot. Cooker hanger is ready. I just we just got to figure out what's going on with our fires falling apart and falling onto the ground. All right, pot boiled so fast with like two cups of water in it, and I was able to rinse it out and call it clean. Ready to put the fish heads and bones in here, the flay stuff, that, stuff that we don't go into the flays to make a broth. much on this guy. First ingredient, a good stew, some butter. Just toss that in there and then uh, some Onions, just toss those in there, and a uh, yeah, we'll go with a full clove of go garlic. Start toss that in there, <laughs> and then a big pack of bacon. There we go. Stew is ready. There we go. She is on the fire. All right, just kidding. Half a stick of butter. Because butter makes everything better. I'm gonna throw some cloves of garlic. And the secret ingredient, wadobo. You're a bad influence on this whole deal. <laughs> I'm just kidding. So there we go, stew's all ready. If it whistles really loud, run like the dickens. <laughs> it's like hot potato. Last person to leave the tent with it has the most nerve, but no. Hopefully this works. Oh, look at the beautiful fire they got going while I was working on that. I should be inside here cutting up stuff. That's ridiculous. Huh? Ooh. We're not limiting ourselves this time. I purchased all kinds of little things to go with the food so we have to catch fish still at least for me i don't care what everybody else does but my goal was to catch fish and then to have fun with it and cook something different besides just plain fish so i got the bacon the butter and asparagus so we have some asparagus and fish sauteed up in bacon and onions oh it's gonna be good
got fish, we got bacon. Holy cow. Alright, dinner is ready, guys. Another one for you, one for you, one for me. Bass. Uh, another bass. Crappy. I've never seen something so amazing in my life. <laughs> it looks pretty good. Thoughts. Thoughts? Yeah. Dude, it looks awesome. Like, do you think, you think when we started today, <laughs> it was going to end up like this? Yeah. No. no. No, anyway. you were no. nervous. You were like <laughs> nervous. nervous. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not happening. No. It's gonna be a mess. Yeah. No. Hey, look where we are, it. man. We're we're eating we're eating dinner in the cave. We're eating gourmet dinner in the cave. That's Beauty. And it's that time of night. It's that time of night. All right. So I forgot to. Hit, I'm just gonna fess up. I forgot to hit record. I had a bite of crappie. So good. Remember to say grace. So good. Thank you, Lord, for the fish, or for these guys catching them. Thank you guys. Good night. See y'all in the morning. Good night. Oh. Mm. Morning. <laughs> no fish. No fish yet? No, one line was stripped. That was it. Oh. So rebated. I refreshed up three lines. Yep. It's not too bad outside. It's not too cold. No. Same as yesterday. Cool. No, that's it. Nice. Wow, it is so nice in here. I don't want to get up. It's too nice. <laughs> this thing's a freaking beast. You got a fish? He's got a crappie. He's got a crappie this one? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that slab. Holy cow. <laughs> that thing's huge. <laughs> Isn't it? Look at that. Almost 15 inch crappie there. That is crazy. First thing in the morning. On the true grit. Yeah. Look at that. The walleye rod. Oh, it swallowed it. Yeah, it's, yeah. Yeah, it's right down there. Oh, that's a good start to the day. One fish. Let's see if we can get more. And coffee. I want coffee. Nice, warm, delicious coffee. Ah! Today's episode is brought to you by Decked. It's a very special truck box for a very special truck for my cameraman. Living in Maine means that the back of your truck is only useful for stuff like half of the year. The rest of the year it's raining or snowing. For him, cameras, sporting goods, looks to be some Tennis rackets, you play tennis? Rollerblades, you rollerblade? You're a busy guy. You got all, all kinds of sporting stuff, boots, tools, and we're gonna try and help them get a little organized with this decked truck box. This goes down inside of here and allows you to fill the whole thing with a new useful area where you could pile stuff on top. You can still bring your rubbish to the dump, but also have secure drawers that you could open up and keep your gear in. Let's head inside and unbox it and pop her in here, see how long it takes. Oh wow. Aiden would fit in there. Yeah. You want to see if you can close oh, it? Let me boy. take this off. It's a... <laughs> this is what we do. <laughs> so close. Is your head going to fit? Yeah, it's going to go. It's yeah. good? Yeah. Oh! Yeah. One whole body! And it's very comfortable. Look at that. I can't believe you fit. Holy, that's pretty impressive.
Boom. That's it. She's done. I took a... Uh, so... I don't know. If we did it again, I feel like I could do it in two hours. Uh, in the small spaces it is, it took us maybe three. Let's uh, christen it. <laughs> I got the, some Kickapoo Fruit Shine. They're twist offs. <laughs> oh, well. But, cheers. Uh, uh, there we go. We did it. <laughs> That's a weird flavor. That's nice. That's so smooth. Go, yeah, you could go all the way to the back with that. These to keep things from sliding around. It still has that other box in there, but it also fits my uh, cordless screw gun set box. My AR cordless screw guns. Several other fishing poles in your box and have all your, or bring a broom with you to the woods to do some uh, sweeping and uh, and then you still have a whole other drawer so you can fit several of those fishing pole boxes wow what's this thing oh uh, that's a part for my car that i already put in. part of the part of the part on the car Let's start with the tennis yeah. rackets to the back your roller blades in there all nice now you have a back seat and a front seat and you can actually ride other people around in it and with the ability to lock those, you can get a lock set for them, as well as you could lock your tailgate, be double locked, and it's kind of incognito. Throw a little tarp on there, nobody would ever know anything's in the back. John's still got tons of space in here. We could put the camera gear when we go do stuff. They've got videos of hosing this thing down, your stuff in there stays dry. You still have your tailgate to close, and he's good to go. So check out Decked in the link in the description below. Thank you, John, for all your hard work this last couple years. Merry Christmas. Protect your stuff like I do. Get your deck drawer system at decked.com slash Fowler and get free shipping. That pretty much covers it. Let's get back to the main video. Coffee's on! Woo! Put this back on our spice rack here in our glacial cave. Got our main ingredients for everything. Adobo, coffee. What happened to Ace's seasoning? Hey guys, I'm getting naked over here. Ah! That's not going in the video. <laughs> Give me this thing. <laughs> We got the nuke back on. We put taters in there last night. Some, uh, what were they? Fingerlings? Fingerling potatoes. Fingerling potatoes, okay. So we got some taters in there with our fish stew that we had one cup of before bed. Let that heat back up. Some breakfast, some coffee. Oh, I'm so excited there. for that coffee, you have no idea. I really <laughs> appreciate that. <laughs> These are days where you need coffee. I don't know how you don't drink coffee on a, on a night. You're just ready to go. You're just ready to go. I'm not. Yeah. 
I was, <laughs> I was born ready. Born ready. I don't you know. Born? I think it, because you're not waiting for the coffee, you just go. Yeah. Right? Because you're not waiting for the kick. You, just, you have the kick or you don't have the kick. <laughs> right? They. I can't live without my coffee. I don't care if that makes me weak. It's something about just sitting around the fire waiting for <sighs> a cup of coffee. Finishing that cup of coffee and then it's like, let's go. Yeah, it's it's like uh, more ceremony than anything yeah. else. Like, yeah, I agree. You know? It's 50% coffee and 50% the ceremony, you know? I tried my long pour to cool it off, and I just realized the foolishness of that. All I have to do is set it on the ice between sips for a second, and just, it'll be up perfect drinking temp, but then, I don't know, not long. <laughs> So rich. Ooh, nice cup of broth for me. We gotta figure out how to get the taters out of there. How you liking it? How'd that tater turn out? This is amazing. As you can tell, it's all over my face, so I'm just digging <laughs> in here, but the potato is amazing. Yeah. Not, not fishy at all. Spices is perfect. Mmm. Got my two frostbite rods that Parrot gave me here. The uh Mr. Big. Mr. Little? No. Meat locker. And my custom made one there by Ness Rods that made me the, uh, he made me this with the orange wraps and all set up. I had a lot of fun with this one, it's pretty rugged too. Got my gear, gonna head out, join Peric in the middle here of the lake, see if we can't get on something good. I didn't manage to catch anything so far. Peric's caught one. Chris is up to, I don't know, like five or something. So you have to watch their videos to see their parts of the adventure. It's a three part adventure and it's shaping up to be super fun. Let's do this. Perch, huh? Yeah. We're just knocking out the species. <laughs> the species game is strong. <laughs> um, but he ate this minnow. I thought it was a, a lake trout for sure. Right?
there's something down there. He keeps coming up to check. He was coming right up as I dropped it down and in. I don't know if you can see it. It's so wet out here today. He was coming right at it. If you can't read a fish finder like this, then it's kind of annoying watching somebody's fishing video with these, but I could tell you how to read it very easily. This right here and this right here are both reading the same thing. That's my lure. And that little red mark is a fish coming up to hit at my lure. The bigger that red line is between your two yellow lines, the bigger your fish is. You can see it on the history side here where he came up, crossed over her, decided, and turned away from it. He's still down there swimming right around. And you can see right here, I'm kind of like jigging in the same space that he's in. And he's not taking it, so I'm bringing it up a little bit as I jig it. You can see that on the history side. And you see it right here as he starts to come off the bottom to follow it up and possibly hit it, but he he didn't. So, but he's right there in the space as I bring it up. It's like a video game. If you learn how to read it, it's a lot of fun. You can set this into a hole that you've drilled. You see what's going on. And like this thing here on this side, you see the history. He came up, inspected it, bumped it a little, and took off. Oh yeah, fish on, fish on. Ooh, feels like a good fish. Feels like a good fish. Maybe a nice, good sized perch, small bass. All right, ha <laughs> ha, woo! Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. What we got? What we got? Oh, there's a good bass right there. That'll eat. That'll eat. <laughs> oh, yeehaw. <laughs> My first fish of the new adventure. All yeah, right. I am psyched about that. Just a little teeny jig head, pink and white, with a scrap of worm on her, and boom. So the perch are in there, the bass are in there. Oh. Oh. There we go. Good to go. We got food. We got food. Let's see if we can get some more. Hee hee! Fish on. I lost it. Ah. Mystery tackle box. Their winter ice fishing box they sent me. All kinds of goodies in it. There we go, all rigged up. Let's drop that down and see what happens. It's very hooky, that's for sure. <laughs> Dropping in. Fish on. Nope. Yep. Fish on. Can't tell. Can't tell. My drag's all messed up and I can't remember how these reels work. Ah. Oh, it's a perch. Chomped it right off the bat. Chomped it. That'll do. That'll do. Nice little perch. <laughs> all right. Get a bunch more of those. And we will have something to eat again tonight. Oh, it's on. Yeah. All right, here we go. We're on. There we go. Another good sized perch. Dinner.
fish on. That's more like it. There we go. There's my number five. Of course, now I caught a number five. Who's gonna want to stop when you got a when you got number five? Like, oh, I got five. I might as well quit. Oh, don't lose it because I'm messing around. There we go. <laughs> there we go. <clears throat> number five. Of course, as soon as I said that, I gotta get number five so I can quit. Did I quit? Do I feel like quitting? Wait, what the heck is in him? Look at that. He's got a little... What is that? Some sort of a little minnow in his mouth. I just... For somebody who didn't know how to read a fish binder last year, and then learns, and seeing those marks, it's just addicting. You gotta, like... You gotta know when to stop. When to say enough is enough and go back. Go home or something, because... No wonder there's so many memes about, uh, I'll see you after ice fishing season, honey. This is fun. I've done this for a number of years without all the bells and whistles and with the bells and whistles. So don't let uh, this gear we're using and all this stuff uh, make you think you can't do some of this. And there are uh, great versions of fish finders I think I spent more time when I was catching the fish paying attention to that uh, little circly picky do watching the bleeps, the sweeps, and the creeps. What? The what? And the what? You know, the bleeps. <laughs> the sweeps. And the creeps. <laughs> That's not all he's lost. Until I got my bite instead of the other one, but it, on the uh, history side of it, it is so cool when you see your jigging, your little wiggling uh, jig going on, and then as you see them moving in, you start pulling up on it, and you see it coming up towards it, come up towards it, and then bam! It's fun, it's fun. But uh, I did just as good, you know, a couple weeks before I had all this stuff, and uh, I went out there and I was drilling sight holes with my uh, shovel and then just dropping back and forth on these holes and and I nailed some uh, nailed the trout or just dropping a heavily weighted line down to figure out the depth set it up about a foot with a minnow on it boom fish are all over some days they bite some days they don't if you don't get out there you don't catch them Zach had the best luck today. Yeah. What'd you get? I got perch. A mess of perch. A mess of perch. One, Five perch. Two bass. bass. Oh, a smallmouth? Perch. No, 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 no that's, that's a large, large mouth. Yeah. I just colored up. Right. And there's another perch in here somewhere. So we got a fish bar going on. It looks like. Yeah. So that's a that's a that's a win ish. It's not the lake trout we're looking for, but it's I mean it's food. seven day and the five day and stuff you appreciate your bed you appreciate your stove and all the stuff that you have every day that you don't have out here which is really cool like fire like where'd fire. the fire go you're you but this man right here he has no comparison to anything like because he just likes the woods he'd live in the woods if he'd rather live in the woods than in a home i feel like Now we can finally get on to the cooking. The vegetables are easy to cut up. They don't they don't need any skinning, being scunned out or nothing. Thank God for that, huh? A little behind the scenes evidence that he really is stepping up and doing his own, taking care of himself out here. We're not holding his hand. He's doing it. He's doing it. And I'm loving it. And loving it. <laughs> so we got some taters that were in our fish stew. Parrot fished those out for us with his bare hands and uh i'm learning how to use butter again and <laughs> it's not peeling for me no it's like trying to open a band-aid you ever <laughs> seen that where you like it is you peel it and then it like ends up stuck back to itself how much that's the question how much just half of it right in there you don't want the whole thing 
Uh, yeah, throw the whole thing. Let's do the heck? whole thing. Yeah, because we're going to throw the fish. We got our pile of fish that I brought in. We'll throw that in there with the vegetables after. There you go. It's going to be gorgeous. We'll have that as the first course so we can throw our stuff in there. Shallots or whatever they are. Oh, there's one that looks a little. Here we go. All right, got my first course here. Thank you, Lord, for the fish today and the taters and the company and the adventure. Bless this food in Jesus' name. Amen. Oh, Parrot nailed the cook on these. Asparagus, so good. Love asparagus. More eggs. <laughs> Mushrooms. Mm. That bite had bacon, eggs, <laughs> and shiitake mushrooms. Bacon and eggs. I'm telling you, it doesn't get much better than this. It was a uh, kind of a wild ride today. Morning. Morning, it's so nice in these things. Uh, I know, right? It's hard to get out of them. Uh, let's do it. Nothing like putting on cold Crocs until I get my socks over there. Is my little furnace still going? It is. Oh. oh, it's a beautiful morning on the ice. Somebody else is already out there. Visiting our holes we were working on yesterday. Maybe they have better luck than we did. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. Put it into the middle of the fire. There you go. So much involved in doing this protracted like winter thing now. It's it's crazy. But uh, not the lake trout we've been waiting for. There we go. Oh. All right, Chef Parrot's at it here. He's working on our breakfast. This isn't a survival challenge as some of my others are. We just want to have fun and we need some energy if we're going to build something neat today. And our goal, despite all the wind and all this, is to get out there, chop some ice, and make a ice igloo. I think this is going to be pretty epic if we can manage to accomplish this. With the three of us working at it, one ice saw, I think it could work. I don't think I've ever seen anybody else build an igloo out of solid ice, so this should be really neat.
It's like something you'd see at like a, a fancy buffet, you know, mm -hmm. like a, a rich people for a, we're having a brunch. I heard that. <laughs> you guys are wrong one? Oh man. We're on round one. Look at that. So Chris is bailing on us. He built himself, uh, put up his wall tent. He's getting all set up. I think he, uh, He's heading off to his own little spot down the ice. Who will be the last man standing inside the ice cave? We all know who the last man standing is always going to be. <laughs> I guess I am. I am now officially the last caveman. And everybody else. There, they, there goes Perrick. That's all right, I got more room to spread out. All right, here it is. There's a little bit of a shallower spot here. Hopefully fish pushing in here. We've had our most luck when we're right in here. We're catching the crappie. Built the ice shelter here, catch some fish while we sleep. If all goes well, let's just lock. It's tapered. Should we all just grab one thing and pull this whole thing up? Let's, let's bob it a couple times. One, two, two, three. One more, one more, one more. Three. Oh, oh, oh. Ah. oh so uh. oh, Let's bob it again. Bob it one more time. Okay, okay. let's start again. Let's, right. let's just re recount again. One, one two, two, one more. And then you can play up bar! Hey, and we could do that every time we'd be on it. Wow. It's a heavy block though. Yeah, we they, maybe we'd not cut them half, so wide. In half. Half? Yeah. Hey guys, this is possible. It is. The biggest thing if you guys are gonna try and do this, make sure you mark your hole. Make sure you mark your hole. Make sure you mark your hole. Like we gotta make sure we mark this area so that nobody goes in. Polar bear dip area. Yeah. Polar bear dip. <laughs> I'm gonna do it. <laughs> if we, if, hey, if we build this igloo, I will jump into the water when we're done. I'll do it. I love it when a plan comes together. This is gonna be cool. I'm worried about getting sunburned right now. It's been burnt before. And You're more ginger than the two of us put together. I don't know about like, that. I only grew ginger as I grew older. I was blonde to start with.
in. Ready, Teddy, lefty, loosey. Wow. <laughs> it's only been three, two and a half. Two and a half days? Yeah, not three yet. Not three? <laughs> the saw is by far the most straining part of this. Yes. Who didn't bring a chainsaw? Yes. <laughs> Whose idea was this? Yes. Idiot. <laughs> That yeah, booger's dripping all over the place. Snots flying, snow's flying, chips of ice everywhere. Sing a song like you're rowing a boat, <laughs> paddling a canoe. Alouette, Zonti, Alouette. What is it? It's about plucking a duck or something. Oh, really? Yeah. I meant to do that. <laughs> oh, I love it when a plan comes together. As soon as we placed that third row block in, we realized we had a problem. Traditionally, the Eskimos igloo is made out of snow, and it's so much lighter and easier to work with. Easy to build once you know how. His home is compact and strong. The igloo gains strength from its ingenious design. After the first row of blocks has been put in place, one block is cut to form a sloping surface. The second row is started on this slope, and the blocks built up in a continuous spiral, the key to the whole structure. In some ways, it's a lot like building a card pyramid where two cards support each other so the next layer can be built on top. Except in this case, each new piece pins the previous piece to the one before that, locking it all in place until the cap pieces are placed in and supporting the whole structure from collapsing in. Due to the weight of the ice and how much work it would have taken to shave one layer down like that, we chose not to go that way and just to build bricks on top of each other. That left them unsupported. To achieve that dome I wanted would mean we'd have to employ some other method like putting in support sticks until we finally made that key piece on the top and allowed us to remove the support sticks from inside, which would add a ton of work to the process and mean we'd never complete it. Not to mention the precarious nature of the whole build as pieces were sliding around because the conditions were so warm they weren't locking into place the way we would have liked. After discussing it for 20 minutes, we decided to stick with the steepest angle we could without having to use the sticks and just to continue the build and we'd figure it out when we got to the end.
That's a design flaw. The sled doesn't fit through the door. we got a new plan to finish it off. It might not dome up just the way we wanted, but we're gonna finish this thing one way or another, whether it kills us. <laughs> so I guess there's nothing to it but to do it. You'll see how it shapes up as it goes here. I do want to jump in though. I still want it. Holding up more. Oh, that's what's going on. Somebody drove the screw down in. It's never been open from all the way from the beginning. Man, this saw works so much better. You wouldn't believe it. We had it on backwards the whole time. No way. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Oh, yeah, maybe one more. There, that's what I wanted. Can I cut this? Yeah, if you want to cut it square. Okay, cool.
One, two, three, go. One, two, three, go. You did it. Sure. I'm moving in. Ha -ha. Uh, it's late. It took a long time to finish patching up all the holes. And now I'm spending the night. All right. I'm so excited. This was my goal for the whole thing. Now the only thing that would top this off is if I can catch a fish while I'm sleeping or while I'm just before I fall asleep. Yes! Oh. oh, home sweet home. I just got the rest of my stuff in here. Oh, I'm not heating up. This is so cool. I mean, could it, could this be any cooler? Uh, not, ah! Hot. Getting hot in here. Take off all your bibs. Getting so hot. I want to take my bibs off. Woo. Hopefully it doesn't get so hot. The roof starts melting. I just want to light some candle things. I got my little candle furnace today. Just a little tin roof. I've been using it in the other one. Put some candles under it, some other candles in here. Decorate a little, sink in some curtains to keep the wind out. There's not much wind coming through because I put it at the right angle. Make it nice. Put that over there. Come on in, junk. That takes up the whole space. That was a bad idea. Oh, it's just gonna fit. I could drill one more hole in here and fish. <laughs> Four days on one battery. Can I get one more hole out of it? Ah, uh, that's it. Four days, one battery, left out in the cold or in our cold tenting the whole time. Finally said, that's enough. I wonder if we remember to charge this one. That'd be embarrassing. Ugh. It's crusted with snow. All right. <laughs> oh, there's all this slush. Great. This whole time it's been just below freezing at night and above freezing during the day. I'm very fortunate. Now it's the coldest night, it's supposed to be down to a negative eight. Oh, it's such a beautiful hole right in my shelter. Ha ha, you just can't get over it. I was so tickled. Living on the ice, you can't help yourself from freezing. I'm living on the ice. 
on the Ice album, now available on iTunes, with all your favorite hits like Oh Lord, Won't You Give Me a Fish for Dinner. And it's getting so hot, I want to take my bibs off. Getting so hot, I want to take my bibs off. And I'm living on the ice. Living on the ice, you can't help yourself from freezing. I'm living on the ice. Five days of living on the ice. You can't help yourself from freezing. Unless you make yourself a nice warm igloo out of ice. You can't help yourself. I gotta get my minnows out of there. They froze up. Poor things. They're still swimming. But it's froze up solid. There we go. Hey, little fella. You're gonna catch me a giant laker. Or just a crappie. Or a rock bass. We haven't really had much luck on this lake. Kinda turned out to be a bit of a bust. But, I don't care. I'm still having fun making stuff. Alright, here we go. There you go, down the hole. Let's get the fish finder on and see how far down we should put you. 33 feet. Let's see. Turn down the gain. Let's get that minnow down there. There he is. There he goes. Down you go, little buddy. You just want first cast, like boom. Bam! Survival lighter. Right under my cot. Living on the ice. Yeah. You can't help yourself from being jealous. Cause I'm living on the ice. I'm living on the ice. Had a bite. I can't go to bed not knowing, not knowing if that was a the monster fish we've been waiting for. I've been waiting for. I'm losing light. Everything's going dark. Catch one now. I won't even be able to see. Minnow's still swimming. All right, send him back down to do his thing. No more light till morning after I turn this off. Because I can't charge my phone with my cord because it's wet. It's got 28%. Ha <laughs> Oh! I am so living in style. Fishing. Living in my igloo. I'm going to climb into bed and get myself cozy now. The little heaters are working. All right. Ceiling's not dripping. We did it. Now all we need to do is catch a fish. Sleeping on the ice. Going to bed is nice. Fishing will asleep. Running out of verses. And it's probably, I don't even know what time it is, midnight? One in the morning. <laughs> 
get a couple hours sleep and knock out it again tomorrow. I'm leaving. Oh, look at the steam coming off of the socks. Ha ha. Woo. I haven't even zipped all the way in and I'm already toasty. Oh, yeah, this is nice. Got my little candles to take off the chill. Oh Lord, won't you give me a fish for breakfast? My friends all had rock bass and bacon for dinner. I'd like a big lake trout to share with my friends. Oh Lord, won't you give me a fish for dinner? Thank you God for this wonderful trip and this beautiful shelter and the friends to have the adventure with. They just didn't have enough nerve to come out in here. They didn't trust my engineering. Did you believe they wouldn't trust my engineering to come and stay in this thing? They thought the roof was gonna fall in. They were, they were saying the roof's gonna fall in and kill me. They think if one of those blocks broke and slipped in the night, it'd come down and, and, and do me in. Throat chop, dead. Smash me in the face, break my nose, drive my, Oh, they had all kinds of horrible scenarios. All a bunch of baloney. I bet you this thing stays right here just like this until it melts and the ice finally gives way and this piece floats around until it flips over. Good morning. It's about 8.30 and 8 degrees. And I slept so good, uh, so comfortable in here. Oh, so cozy. This works so good. It's pretty cold in here. Little candles and stuff never made it warm enough for the any of the ice to melt. So that's good, I guess. Could have been a little warmer in here. Most of the time I had nothing more than just my nose peeking out to breathe. <laughs> Yeehaw, what an adventure. I guess uh, I hear the boys rustling around in their sleds. Either they're flapping around in the wind because it is blowing some stink out there right now. Or they're starting to pack up. I think we're going to pack it up and go fish a different lake see if we can't change our luck and unskunk herself from this uh, whole experience on this little lake. And then we're calling it. Five days on the ice. I don't want to get out of this. I'm so warm in my little cocoon. All right, here we go. Oh, the zipper's stuck. I'm, I'm stuck, I'm stuck. Oh well. No, all right. Whew. Maybe I should have stayed in bed. If it's eight degrees outside, I bet it's, I don't know. It's not much better up high or up low, so I guess some of these cracks in the ceiling I didn't fill up last night before the snow got too crusty. The, uh, the sticky snow stopped being sticky, so I wasn't able to fill in some of these cracks. I can see the light right out. I can feel the air rushing. Kind of going out the top of there. That was a failure. That's just a guess, though. I didn't bring a thermometer. I hear the boys coming to check on me, see if I'm still alive. Hey, that worked. I thought the sled, I thought I heard it moving around. <laughs> What's it like out there? Oh, I just fell into the hole. You fell into the hole?
<laughs> did you get that? Yeah, did you get it? Did you get it? Yeah. <laughs> so, you know. How wet are you right now? So wet. <laughs> you are. <laughs> you are. Got it. Oh my goodness. Hey, I got visitors. And Peric, look at him. Look at his legs. He's all crusted up. He fell into our giant hole. Make sure you mark your hole. Make sure you mark your hole. Make sure you mark your hole. I was gonna do the polar plunge, but I he just already, already did it. He did it. Like you can't even move him so wet. <laughs> You're like freezing up. Your tauntaun will freeze before you reach the first marker. Then I'll see you in hell. Yeah. All right. Well, day five on the ice may have just come to a screeching halt for Peric here. He just took a dunk. Walked right into our hole. I thought he was walking on the edge of it because of the way the snow blew across it. Guess we should have marked it for ourselves. I thought, you know, what's being right here. Be okay, but we definitely are marking that hole so that nobody can go into it. That was kind of a failure on our part. You know, figured being right here, we'd be able to protect it. We'd be the marker for it, you know. Um, somebody had come in to visit us uh well like these guys did come out this morning and even us knowing that was here somehow Peric still fell into it so <sighs> get some proper marking on that hole and see where the rest of the day takes us see if i got a fish maybe it froze in and so he's still down there i don't feel anything on i've been skunked for like two days now but I've been busy building stuff, so it's not like it's the end of the world. That minnow's kind of bit the dust. I'm gonna blame it on you. It's all your fault. If you had tried harder, I probably would have caught something. <sighs> oh well. I do love my fishing, but it's about the adventure in general, so I'm not worried. The tunnel and the angle worked so good, my candles are still going. Breeze isn't blowing in here that that strongly. This is crazy how well this thing worked. I wonder how much warmer it would have been in here if the ceiling had buttoned up tightly. Oh, I can't. See what the world is like out here. And there's where he fell through. They were walking right along to come over and see me. And uh took a dunk right into the the hole. How bad was it? So bad. So bad? Yeah. I'm, I think I'm gonna be out for the count for today. Yeah? You got right up into your clothes and in your boots and everything, huh? Yeah, look at my bibs. Yeah, everything's calling it quits. I put a fresh battery in this thing last night, but it's so cold that just t died. Fish are still moving around in there. Poor little guys. There's only like eight of them left. They're freezing up. They're freezing up! What do you think? Nobody died. Nobody died? No. <laughs> we did good. Yeah. We should have marked it, huh? I didn't think we need to mark it for ourselves. <laughs> yeah. We need to mark it before we leave, obviously. We've known that from the beginning, but... Uh, my thing is like, I just, what if like somebody had come out to visit us, I just realized. We should have had it marked all along. So what are we doing now? Done? You look like you're like, yeah, like I'm... Uh, Canada gonna, bound, he's like, I... Uh, I'm gonna flow with the flow. Go you're with gonna the flow. go with the flow? So I'm gonna see where the flow takes us. Alright. If Alex gets back in the game, then we get back in the game. And he wants to dip a line in the water one last time, then we'll do it. 
Until yeah. then, we pack up. And we got a ton of work just to pack up. Oh so man, we have so much work to pack we'll up. We'll see where we end up. Four days of spreading out and playing around on the ice. Our stuff is all over the place. So we just get our gear together and then see where the team's at. Yeah. All right, that's everything. All cleaned up. Eric returned to us after a quick run of his clothes through the dryer from our generous land host. Blowing 30 miles an hour now. It's just miserable out here. We're packing up. <laughs> well, I didn't get skunked this morning. Another rock bass. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> Well, the adventure certainly didn't go as I planned it. And there was a lot of hardships along the way. But we learned a lot. And we had a lot of fun. And any time spent in the outdoors with friends, swapping fishing stories and sharing adventure is a good time to me. All right, buddy. Thank you good again. Luck. Yeah, that was so fun. All right. And let's do it warmer next time. Yeah, warmer <laughs> next time. Thanks for watching guys, I'll see you next time. Fowler out. Ah, now I gotta pee.